We can build an embassy, that's nice. It costs a lot of money though. Okay, now that they're a vassal, uh, it's only got a whole lot easier because they're no longer en our enemy at all. And if we can secure them against these rebellions and they can build up their army again, they'll be a nice asset against like the Golden Heart and stuff. <laughs> I lost? What? <laughs> Uh, we'll lose the legitimacy because I'll quickly recover. Nice. Oh, what's this? Lithuania's declared war on us. Okay, that's pretty bad. And Poland declined to join. Hmm. Wait, Golden Harbor at War of Bohemia? Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually really good for us because now the Golden Harbor is going to get completely destroyed. Generally, they like, they can't stand up to nations like Bohemia and Austria. They just like... Their armies are like big and they're really... They're much more better technologically as well as numerically. Okay, sorry, uh, I've grad you on your own. I've got my own borders to secure now. How big is Lithuania army? Is probably a bit much bigger than mine. And they're at land tech seven, which is the same as us. Let's see if we can beat this army. Nice. Chase it down and kill it. There we go. Now we need to take care of that other army in the north. Ooh, and retake home. Okay, we'll help out our good friends. Um, where are they heading? Wenden. Okay, we can chase them down. Nice. Oh, looks like a Lithuania weren't ready for that kind of a beatdown. Yeah, they want a white piece already. But. I think I'll take Pol Polotsk from them first. Because it produces silver and that means it's quite rich. Shame it's, it's the same with Chernigov, but I don't have like, I don't know, overstretch or anything like that. Improvements in production technology, um, use caution. Walls breached. Nice. How much wasp guard do we need to take it? Not that I accept it. Okay. I want my Gen to release Riga as well, actually, just to cut them down a bit. Because if they're powerful enough that they want to risk declaring war on me, then. And yeah. And it looks like Novgorod's actually doing a pretty good job. I'm grateful for that. Okay, uh, release Riga as well. Oh, they won't accept.
Ooh, we're getting a car province. The fair and reserve. Oh yeah, I remember conquering them. Our income should increase as well. Yeah, 53, that's so good. Oh, they took Brianks, what the hell? Yeah, I'm just going to abandon the siege because we need to reinforce our army. And I need to retake Bryansk. Oh, maybe I won't have to. Oh, we don't get a six in for me? Oh, it's because they're the aggressors. Yeah, okay. May as well squeeze as much out of this wall as we can. Mm. Oh, they won't accept it, but they will accept it soon. Especially now that we've took their capital, actually. I didn't intend to take this many territories, but when we're doing so well against them, we may as well. Surf subset. Our troops need the practice. <laughs> it's quite funny. Okay, so these three release Riga. treaties with Poland. Nice, that's really good. Are they all, are they Catholic or are they... Not two of them are Catholic. Let's get them converted and that will lower the revolt risk. So, especially when they become our cause, they'll actually be really profitable since they're producing silver. They're already profitable already. That was a weird sentence. Whoops, what did I do? National epic, okay. I suppose we had serving a national epic, that was such a successful war. Uh, we'll hire him, why not? Hmm, so what to do now? Oh, it looks like they're trying to deal with rebellions. I'll help them out. Revolt in Chernigov. Oh. Take care of these first and send them down. Hmm, so that hasn't been 10 years yet. I'm going to join their trade league as well. If we can annex them all in one go, that'll be so huge. I uh, don't mind you taking Lithuanian territory, but not mine. We'll keep these guys on here, because that's probably where the, all our rebellions are going to take place. Uh, we converted one of them already, nice. Whoa, how'd you do so well, England? What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen them. What did they demand there? Hmm, well, that's okay, I guess. Um, I don't think I've ever seen them do this well before. You know, it's like almost certain that they're gonna lose like all their French territory really early on, but they've actually like not only held it, but like really took a lot of Southern France and Northern France. They have lost like whales and stuff, but I'm sure they'll retake that. Not rebellion. 
Uh, should build some stuff actually. I'm gonna build some marketplaces. So what's the income looking like? 23, that's not bad considering we're missionaries cost money as well. And what do we get if we annex them? We get... I always get... <clears throat> we get two base tax in Novgorod and 10 prestige so it will be worth it, it just depends if we can do it. And we can try next year actually, that's great. Hmm. The only problem with them um, demanding annexation from your vassals is if the big like Novgorod is, taking all that territory at once is that's gonna be pretty hard, like because they're all gonna instantly try and revolt against me. So initially, it's going to be very, very hard to like keep track of it, tra keep track of it all, and kill all the relings. But when it calms down a little bit, then it's going to be pretty good. And we do already have cars on a. We do already have cars in those three anyway, so they won't rebel at least. Lines off from Poland, I will gladly accept. And they're not war of anyone, nice. Would you like a royal marriage as well. Neither oh, they reject. There we go. I'm going to convert them nice. Yeah, when our income shot up to almost 40. Uh, they must be right. Okay, now I'm going to expand the bureaucracy. I'm going to put it towards quality. Blooded air dies. Um, in the arms of the Lord, I find solace. And oh, we don't have a legal air though, that's a bit worrying. I don't know how long he's been on the throne. Oh, it, he's been on for almost 20 years, so he's probably going to die soon as well, that's bad. Might be in a Regis Council for quite a while. And we can demand annexation. Unlikely. Well, that's still possible. But yeah, um, I think I've recorded enough right now. It's been like. It's been at least an hour. But yeah, not that I wasn't enjoying it. I'm actually having a lot of fun. I'll probably record some more tomorrow as well. So yeah, um, thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I think we did pretty well here. There were a few close moments, like when the Golden Heart declared war on me, but we bounced back pretty well. And now we're even we're way, way stronger than we were when we first started out recording. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, leave any comments if you want, any constructive criticism about anything about this LP. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys pretty soon, hopefully.